Hello, my most amazing artists. It is a nice day outside, so I decided to come out here while my kiddos are playing and do a little video for you. And I know that this week, the technique of the week is painting, and I've already been seeing some just amazing work from you. So I thought I would read a story about a painter who is very important in art history, Georgia O'Keeffe and she painted things in nature outside. She painted flowers up close, she's really famous for that. Bones when she lived out in the desert, and um, also cityscapes, but she's most famous for her flowers up close. So if you notice any flowers starting to bloom now that we're in the spring, you can make your own viewfinder when you're outside by taking a sheet of paper. I grabbed a big sheet of construction paper. You can just grab printer paper, um, but you fold it in half. And then on the fold, very important, it has to be on the fold, not the open side. You just cut out a little rectangle. So you go in and across, turn, turn, all right, so you get something like that. Then when you open it up, you have a rectangle inside a rectangle. So what you do when you're outside, of course you can do this inside too, but since we're talking about Georgia O'Keeffe and how she did flowers up close, you can look around outside and this, you, I kind of like to close one eye as I look through the hole and you can find the most beautiful scene or the most interesting scene that you would like to draw or paint. And you kind of hold it up there and it gives you that rectangle is like the size of your paper and you try to draw just what's in that rectangle. Now it can get a little tricky because you have to kind of hold it in that place and then draw. Um, but if you have a piece of cardstock that's a little bit harder or construction paper, it's easier to hold it up and then kind of sketch with one hand. So that's just a little tip that I have for you, making your own viewfinder to go out and to find something interesting to draw. And it makes it easier so you don't have a bunch of stuff all in the background. It just is, you're able to focus in on one area. So let's go ahead and read this story called, sorry about my kids screaming out here, <laughs> Through Georgia's Eyes. And you can see there her painting a beautiful flower up close. Uh, this is by Rachel Rodriguez, illustrated by Julie Pashkis. Okay, uh, uh, Aubrey and Declan, I'm reading a story on the computer. I don't think that's going to make a difference. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, 1887. George's first memory. She will always remember these colors and the brightness of light, light all around. I hope you can see this okay. Soon Georgia runs and plays games with her brothers and sisters. Her father gives her sweets and plays Irish tunes. Her mother reads stories and cares for the younger children. Everyone works hard on the farm. Georgia roams the prairie. The trees and land keep her company. Pencil and sketch pad comfort her. She discovers that she likes to be alone. Seasons melt into seasons on her family's farm. Georgia struggles to show on paper what she sees. Let's see here, there we go. At 12, she takes painting lessons. She tells her friend, I am going to be an artist. But in the year 1899, only boys became artists. A girl wishing to be one was scandalous. Georgia sees life differently. She paints and paints. Hours pass without notice. She wonders if she can achieve her dream. I don't know about you, but I've noticed that when I get really into painting or drawing, the hours just fly by and I don't even notice the time going. That happened to her too. And on this page, when we learn about being an artist who was a girl, a female, at the time was scandalous, that means it was really unheard of. And that's why she's so important. 
she's one of the first female artists to become super famous. And she lived a really long life and was famous for lots and lots of years. She walks around a lake and hikes into the woods. Everywhere she looks, shapes hung, hum and sing to her. At art school, brushes and canvas become her language. Paint speaks for her. Watercolor and oil are her words. I wonder how many of you are trying uh, watercolor painting this week. I know we have already, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. For a time, Georgia lives in the city. She walks through canyons of concrete. She misses the outdoor world. The sun steals a bite from a skyscraper. The faraway place, open sky and land, calls her. The wideness and wonder of the world amaze Georgia. She wants to share this magic with others. Flowers delight her. She paints them as giants. People stop to stare. Georgia's flowers make them feel like tiny butterflies flitting through the universe of her garden. Oh, here's Abby when it <laughs> She moves to Ghost Ranch in New Mexico. Red hills, cliffs, silence, and the far away surround her. In the desert, she discovers extraordinary things, skulls. The bones don't frighten Georgia. To her, they are alive and strong. <laughs> the, their beauty astounds her. Mm -hmm. Georgia expresses her feelings in her own way. Words work, but for her... That's Aubrey interrupting. Okay, thank you. Words work, but for her, the color blue says it better. Or red. Or a seashell. A pale bone. Sunset. The trees and hills whisper their secrets. They are friends, always there for her. A canyon calls her. From the bottom at dusk, she sees a long line of cows above, black lace against a dusty sky. She hikes at dawn. She climbs a ridge. The land enchants her. A range of hills is a mile of elephants with white sand at their feet. Sometimes her chow chow tags along. He hops and, and ro around rocks and chases antelope. They float ahead of her yelping dog. Georgia follows them. She breathes in the dawn. A sea of sage covers the plain before a mountain like waves lapping against a shore. Sometimes she climbs a ladder to her roof. The moon rises above. Beneath a giant canvas of inky night and silvery stars, Georgia dreams. Yeah, and come over here so you could see. But, but then I want to see the color. Ooh, even now, Georgia can show you the world as she sees it. Open your eyes and walk along. See the colors, hear the shapes singing. But I can't. Here, Aubrey, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. They are really beautiful to look at. Ooh, spiral seashell. No need to hurry. Lean in. Look closer. Closer still. There, the wideness and wonder of the world. The end. Now I'm going to link um, underneath the video some of Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings and artwork. So if you want to learn a little bit more about her, you can. And I wish you a wonderful rest of your week. We tried out that sombrero. Declan, can you go grab that so we can show them on the video um, for Cinco de Mayo yesterday? And we used the washable marker, and then we added just water to spread the marker around. It doesn't work quite as well as watercolor, I'm just going to be honest. But it will work if you don't have watercolors. You could also even take the washable marker... Take off the cap. This actually works out for dried out markers. Um, you dip it in water 
and then you let it sit for like a day and you're left with a little bit of watercolor paint. Okay, Declan says he can't find, he, he can't find our sombrero. Um, but I'll go ahead and I'll um, link that under the video as well. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Georgia O'Keeffe and um, have a great week. Okay, bye everybody.